Ed, uh, fresh off the, uh, the training ground, I guess no professional ever really looks forward to pre-season, do they? No, no, I've never met anyone that enjoys it. Um, it's just something that you've got to do and you've got to get through. Um, you never look forward to it, but you have to do your, your little pre-season on your own. Um, so that when you turn up here, you're not you're not lagging behind yeah. everyone else. And, and is that something even in your time in the year, the game that sort of changed that that yeah. sort of extra yeah. little bit, so that you're not half a lap behind people? Even more so now. Um, you know, I've got a lot, a lot of friends in the game now, and you see it all the time. You see mm. people, uh, personal trainers, and and uh, you know a lot goes on now away from away from the club that gets you in, in shape, ready for the season. Yeah. Do you still get time to, to enjoy yourself and maybe not overindulge, but just get away and, and have that month off to just decompress a little bit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't because I've got a two-month-old daughter now, so my whole summer was just <laughs> crazy. But um, we didn't actually manage to get away this year. But most of the time, yeah, it's, it's sort of, you know, a month, probably a month a bit too much, probably three weeks to just switch yeah. off and then the rest of the time you're, you're at it, yeah. ready for this. So you're back to football for the rest then? Yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling well. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously a new club for you, is it, I guess from your point of view, good to get that sorted early on so you knew what was going on? Yeah, yeah, that's key for me. Um, I, like to, I like to know what I'm doing and I don't like to be worrying too much about the future and um, it, it was nice to get it done so early and to, to look forward to coming here. Yeah. And, and how did Daryl sell you the club? What was it that, that tipped your hand in his favour? He said there's a great bunch of lads um, all working in the same direction um, and there's a great togetherness and that can go a long way. And I know that um, you know, with, with promotions and with you know, good teams, it's often the togetherness and not the individuals that that, um, make success. Well, and you had that absolutely in spades in Yeovil that year when you went up. I mean, that that was a squad that really got on well. Yeah, you know, not you know, probably not the best individually in the league, but as a squad and as a team, we, we were spot on, and we were all together. We all had our eyes on the same goal, and and it goes, like I said, it goes a long way. Okay, so it's still only very early days, and you're just getting to know some of your teammates. But good first impressions. Yeah, I like them. I know a couple of them. I know Tony, and I know James. Mm. Um, from before and uh, it's nice to know a couple of people before you come in because sometimes can be quite daunting but um, it's, it's just uh, obviously first day and it's easy the lads have helped me settle in really easy. Good stuff so uh, so Rovers in general one of those clubs that would like to be there or thereabouts this season I get the feeling there'll be quite a few in uh, in League One. Yeah uh, I'm sure every team will have that those same ambitions um, behind closed doors um, but yeah I, you know I think as a team and as a squad and with the manager that we've got we definitely want to be up there. Your last visit to the other men, probably one that you'd rather forget. Yeah, yeah, that was my 300th um, game and I was looking forward to it for that occasion yeah. and then obviously things happened and uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is football. Well, and that goes, you know, that, that happens, but I think equally a lot of fans I've spoken to have seen a lot of your football over the years and, and you're going to add something different to that Rovers midfield. I hope so, that's, that's what I'm here to do and I'm here to fight for my place and, and um, you know, make my um, position in the team. Yeah, and, and you talk about fighting for your place, actually. It's gone from a couple of years ago, maybe not having as many players there. Now that, that you've got four, five, six players for, for a couple of positions. Yeah, yeah, and this uh, competition is always healthy, as they say. And, um, you know, when you've got good players, because I've seen there's good players out there today, good midfielders, and there's going to be a real strong competitive squad this year. Mm.